Hello my fellow explorers! So if you are not new to this channel, you will not be shocked to see this video and realize this was something that was filmed almost a year ago and it's now taking me a year to upload and I'm doing the intro in a completely different time frame. So it's currently New Year's Eve Eve and I filmed this in January of 2019. I kind of have this one year cutoff for myself because I put things off forever and you guys know I'm not the most consistent if not consistent at all. It was a very unexpected trip, but it was one of the best experiences of my life. So last January, out of the blue one day, my mom casually mentions and asks, hey, would you be possibly interested in seeing Hamilton in Puerto Rico? I don't know what kind of question that is, and I just was very confused. And like, obviously, yes, if you're serious, and so basically, I knew about this big event that was happening in Puerto Rico. Lin-Manuel Miranda and his father had actually set up this fund in Puerto Rico to help continue the arts, especially after Hurricane Maria. So in Puerto Rico, they actually had one of the national tours. It was launching there, but for the three weeks it was in Puerto Rico, the role of Hamilton was being played by Lin-Manuel Miranda. So I knew that this had been happening. I'd seen some promos about it, but I'd never even bothered entertaining the idea because it just seemed so out of my reach. And also that August before, I was in New York City for the first time and I had the opportunity to go to Hamilton, but I couldn't personally justify spending that much money. It was just nothing I would I ever even considered. But apparently my mother had considered it quite a lot. She had found a couple different people that were offering tickets through Craigslist, which I know sounds very sketchy. Somehow, by the grace of God, it worked. We didn't even know until like we had the tickets in our hand once we were there and like going through the line if our tickets were even gonna be legit. I mean, we talked to the family quite a few times and really felt comfortable together and, and they ended up being lovely. We actually sat next to them. When I look back and I think about that this actually happened, it's kind of crazy because we booked the tickets the Tuesday before, we left the next Monday. We were there only for three days. Again, we didn't get the tickets until the day of. And I mean, when we got them, they looked incredibly legitimate, but we got them through someone on Craigslist. We didn't get them through an official buyer, so we really didn't know. So long story short, I got to see Hamilton on my birthday, starring Lin-Manuel Miranda, and January 16th is also his birthday. So the whole experience was like once in a lifetime. I will never forget it, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. next day and we're in Puerto Rico we found this place it's clearly a, like more of a touristy place to eat and drink um, but it's still really really good actually I tried plantains for the first time didn't really know what that was but I was having a good time um, food was actually really really good and we still don't really know what we're doing tomorrow or the day after other than seeing the greatest show that's ever been in existence good morning guys so we're here on our first official day I'm so excited it is so nice out We've only been out for a couple minutes, but we are now at the Castile de Cristobal. It's actually a castle, but somewhere along the way, the US government mislabeled it as a fortress. So a lot of people think that this castle and then the other one, the Del Moro, which is on the other side of the island, they're, they're fortresses, but they're actually castles. Puerto Rico is kind of the halfway point between Spain and Europe, and then America. On the, on the west side. And so really this was kind of the gateway or entrance to the new world back when it was being discovered in the, the Americas. And so really they needed to protect themselves. It was a place for merchants and sailors and everyone to dock before continuing on either west to Americas or back east to Europe. Spain got to Puerto Rico first and built these fortresses and then spent 400 years trying to keep it until America took Puerto Rico. We 
are here on January 15th, 2018, which I say that because I don't know when this is gonna get uploaded, but this is in the middle of Donald Trump's government shutdown. The national parks and national historic sites are free because they technically can't charge, which means the, the people working here are not getting paid. They will eventually when the government shutdown is over. It makes me mad, not trying, not trying to make this political, but it's free right now, which is so weird. Walking around for quite a while, we've seen a lot of really cute neighborhoods and a lot of areas where you can still see a lot of the construction that still needs to be done. You can see that there's a lot of like old apartments that were damaged by the hurricane that have not been renovated yet and probably won't be renovated for a while. It really shows that there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. They've done a good job of kind of fixing a lot of the surface, but you can tell just by talking to the people like how resilient this country is. And these people are some of the friendliest people I think I've ever met. My gosh, I love them. We are now at the Cathedral San Juan Batista. Um, it is the second oldest cathedral built in the Americas, and it's the oldest building in Puerto Rico. Like, the ceiling is glorious. I mean, I think that's, that's beautiful. the other edge of San Juan now and we are at the Castillo San Felipe del Moro. Yes. Again, horrible, horrible names. Otherwise known as El Moro. Um, it's the other of the two big castle fortresses here. And yeah, let's go in. January 26th to January 16th, also known as my birthday! Happy birthday to me! Here we are at, I don't think I can turn you here. We are at Escombro Beach. There's a little clouds behind me. But we actually went snorkeling earlier. That was one of the main things we wanted to do when we went to the beach today. We found like a little cove and we did it and it was fun. I had Actually, it was really cool. We are now just, I'm lying on the beach. My mom left me to go walk around. Tonight is the night that will always be known as quite possibly the greatest three hours of my entire existence, <laughs> AKA, when we go see Hamilton with Lynn manuel Miranda. My birthday, boo. Happy birthday, man. We just had some Caribbean ice cream, which is more like sherbet, which was delicious. And a Lunchable because that's how we roll.
<laughs> it's been a while since I vlogged. Not really sure what I got today because I was kind of just really in the moment trying to enjoy my birthday and everything that just happened. Somehow, and some miracle, I got to see Hamilton today in Puerto Rico with Lin-Manuel Miranda. I'm so just overwhelmed, I can't even talk. On my birthday slash his birthday, and it was fantastic. Literally two seconds in, actually about half a second in, I just hear the first couple beats of it, and I just break down sobbing that like this finally happened, that this event and show that I've been talking about for three years I finally get to see and in this kind of situation on my birthday with starring the person who has inspired me on so many levels was just completely overwhelming and the people that we sat with and we met through this process were so fantastic um the wife of the couple that we got our tickets through got me this beautiful necklace um that she makes it it's quartz um just the cutest couple with the cutest kids i think i've ever seen in my life i want to be their best friends <laughs> lynn was fantastic eliza was amazing i loved her i just have a lot of feelings because i saw it people started singing happy birthday to him in spanish Which, side note they either have their own puerto rican way of singing it or we've been singing it wrong and in all my Spanish classes I took in grade school my entire life because that is not the happy birthday I learned in Spanish class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Fel Feliz Cumpleaños a ti, Feliz Cumpleaños a ti. They sang, some, they sang the same words, Feliz and Cumpleaños, but like backwards in a slightly different tune, so. I learn something new every day. My feet are very sunburned today. That's, that's my takeaway from today. Great, great, 23rd birthday. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so I did vlog a little on our final day, but it was really only a partial day and really just the morning and the beginning of the afternoon before we had to leave to go back to the airport. Basically, our final day there, which would have been Thursday, was the beginning of the San Sebastian Festival, otherwise known as Sansa. It's basically like the end of the holiday season in Puerto Rico. Celebrating the wise men coming and the epiphany and the three kings, that is a bigger celebration to the Puerto Rican people. There were tons of Christmas decorations still up everywhere you go and you see the three kings a lot. It's a big music festival with food and music and partying for like three days straight. I think because we were at the very, very beginning of the festival, we were missing the majority of the events were going to be later in the day and later in the weekend. but. We still had some time to walk around that day to kind of start getting a feel for what it was going to be like. But yeah, that was the end of my amazing three-day birthday vacation. There's no way I will ever be able to repay my mom how much that trip meant to me. And it's just... I love you, Mama. Thank you so much, and thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Happy exploring.